to the channel for today's video. Um, today I'm just gonna get the engine bay ready for all the new components I have coming, like my brand new S2000 master cylinder. And the reason I want to go with the master cylinder is because, well, it looks cleaner. You don't have the holes and the thing coming up. It's just, it, it just looks cleaner. It just makes for a cleaner look. We're gonna be putting the interior back together. Randy, come get your seat, bro, and come get your engines. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yo, if any of you guys are looking for a B18B block, I have two of them. If you're in South Florida and you want one of these blocks, they're, uh, I think one had what rod knock and one had crank walk. I'm trying to let these things go. They need to go ASAP. So if you're in South Florida and you want this block or on one of these blocks, let me know on Instagram. Please let me know, bro. I, I just need them come. I also received the half shaft from Rand Leezy. I gotta buy him a half shaft now, but dash my dog. I should start cleaning the garage up too because, well, it's a mess and I should put on the wheels today. I'm just gonna get much as I can done today before I tap out and call it a day. So, with that being said, first things first, let's get this um, interior back to being, well, not back to being, but let's get this interior looking on for leak. <laughs> for leak. For leak. Look at that focus, bro. Look at that focus, bro. I, I, look at the focus. I'm not even gonna look at the lens. Just, just look, look at the focus. Focus, bro. Focus is very essential to a vlog. Super facts. All right. So as far as the interior, we gotta do steering wheel, uh, center console, both in the armrest delete kick panel, seat belts, and all that fun jazz. Yeah, it should be pretty easy today. It should be a pretty good day for like getting the car back together for the interior purposes. Hold on, I might got some car parts in the mail today, playboy. Boy, I might got some car parts, son. All right, let's see if we got some mail. Yes, sir. Let me guess, my name on it, yeah. All right, man. This must be my, I believe this is my, um, I got eBay on. I believe this is my S2K adapter plate. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. But we'll open this later. Let's get this interior to look on fleek. Okay, so yeah, this was not a good idea getting rid of the red Recaro, <laughs> but I mean at least the passenger can like scoot back and forth, but new seats are on the way. I, I, I just can't. This is nah, nah. Well, I got some sucky news. I can't use this seat at all. Aww. That lines up, um, that would line up with some few modifications. This rear lines up, but that one over there, let me see if I can show you guys. That focus that doesn't line up at all but it's weird because these are integra seats but i try you know trying to making it work if i slide it over like that or slide it back then that one don't line up at that side and then that one don't line up so <sighs> can't use the seat now i'm on the prowl for a passenger seat whether it's a bucket or not i just need a passenger seat now uh, this doesn't work so i'll probably just get both seats to randy but it's all good now i'm just gonna move forward to putting on the seat belt harnesses again for that one i think i'm just end up picking up a, a stock seat nah nah i want to buy another race quip harness for the passenger seat so the plan of action now is to find another bucket passenger seat hopefully it's a spark if not bride anything matters i don't care if it's real or fake because i'm just gonna end up buying uh two sets of new sparkles but for the meantime i just need a temporary seat for now because that passenger seat kind of looks bad i gotta accept it to simply clean i want to pull up in a stock seat so if i could find like a bucket seat on south florida sales or something like that that'd be dope but got the driver's seat all tightened down uh now it's time to just put on the harnesses and stuff and then uh the interior is pretty much done for it. i just got to work on putting the starter on and tomorrow i'll do like axles and change out the wheels and stuff like that so but for this video just i guess buttoning up the interior uh, whatever quick little tutorial on how to install your seat harness so this is one of the harness points on your um i think i think this is a five point harness uh race quip harness uh, you just use your factory bolt for this one. Like this is where your factory seat belt um, would go, your holster would go. Use the bolt and then just, you know, like this is basically this thing right here. So you got the, the one that claps into the clamp over there. And then you got the adjuster thingy. And then you got this thing. You just bolt that right on in there, play boy. You just bolt that in there, you feel me? You just bolt that in there, yee. And then 
run run this through there like so you could, could even scoot that in there i think i had like yeah i think i had this in there like last time did i i think i did I'm pretty sure i did all right so now that one's in this is bolts onto your seat bracket i'll show you, show you see that bolts on right there to your seat bracket i don't know if you guys can see it but that's in there and now for the rear for the actual belts uh, i got mine crisscross pattern this is actually really, there we go this one go. Oh, you get, look a little dingy, don't you think? This one goes in here like so, and voila, your seats. Wait, hold on. Ugh. Seats are done. Well, belt harnesses. After a long, boring day, my interior is looking pristine. Play bow. Check me out, son. Check me. Check me. Out. Don't worry about that or that right there. Don't worry about my trunk. I still gotta get this like painted and stuff. I would paint it myself. But then it'll look something like that. And I ain't trying to do that. So I'm gonna get this professionally done along with that. But for now, this is my interior. I don't know how good on camera it looks, but in person it looks pretty good. Like the carpet looks black. It doesn't look grayish. It looks actually black. Um, I know I'm gonna have to remove this for when I run the shifter box and stuff like that. Here's my interior, playboy. Clean, boy, clean. Clean! Days, I'm gonna remove this um, cloth crap and replace it with the uh, leather one because I have a leather one in my house somewhere in my room somewhere aside from the interior let's work our way on to getting the starter on and thermostat housing and all that cool stuff that we can put on that's you know can go on right now so all right so here we have my starter that I'm getting dirty with my dirty hands and we're just gonna install it I don't know why I'm making this like a yeah bro we gotta install a starter Oh, I forgot to put this boat in early. Boy, feeling kind of lazy right now, and I ain't got the boat. My mom's about to dip, and the ruck is down, so I can't take the ruck to go pick up a boat. So I will continue tomorrow with like putting on the axles and battery and all that other stuff. Like just bolting on everything that I have. The thermostat housing I got finally, thank God, got that. So I'm just be bolting on everything that needs to be bolted on tomorrow. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the morning. What's up? So it's the next day, and I went to Randy's last night, and he lent me. Well. He gave me his starter bolt. As of right now, I probably owed Randy like $150 worth of parts. I took his half shaft, his flywheel bolts, um, his uh, post mount bolts, and now a starter bolt. So, Randy, you the MVP, bro. Now I can put my starter in, like, well, put this bolt in, tighten the starter all up. And then Ronald is coming today. Ronald is the guy from K Bros. He's coming today to pick up his wheels. So, when he gets here to pick up his wheels, I'm going to do the axles, I'm going to raise the car. That's what it's going to be, playboy. Yo, here is that. Well, I guess this is the driver's side axle because that thing to get to the transmission is far, so I'm pretty sure that is my passenger side axle that goes into that half shaft. But we are ready for it. install these hot sport axles and be sure if you're doing a case swap and you're looking for some axles that's budget friendly, that's worked, and that you don't have to worry about it. Oh, is my axle going to snap? Uh, hot sport crafted these axles to work with their mount kit so you will not ever have any snap issues unless you're like launching on, like, you know what I'm saying. You know, these, I don't think these are like 500 rated horsepower axles. These are axles that get your car running and you can do some street pulls and have some fun. Just, you know what I'm saying? You don't be doing launches like every day, you know what I'm saying? You should be all right. But yeah, link down below to High Sport if you want some axles. And thank you again to Brian over at High Sport for uh, coming through and partnering up with me on this build. Thank you so much, bro. Hope to see you soon when my car goes cross country for this Zosh tour or whatever. So, let's get these axles in, play boy. Oh! Oh. Yeah. All right, so I just got to finish out this side axle and do the other side, but right now 
Uh, the guy where I got the transmission and um, capo from is letting me use his um, RSX shifter box and shifter cables until mine's come in the mail in case I get like a first startup or a first drive where I'm getting my cables and shifter box. It's all made in-house, so I'm waiting on that to come and that should be two to three weeks out. Shout out to him now before I miss my opportunity to go pick it up. Let's go. You are now listening to 99.9 Nine with my man Zosh. Gonna bring the hot fire for your boys. Your mother rocks you. Born to do it, even though all my friends look at me like who knew it. Run to it, the little shit fit by new nigga. Good cats talking like who nigga. Is he, where did he come from? CL, my mom prayed for me on my journey. She was like an alien, some of us a gurney. Lifted his name for the fame and the gurney. Trying to put me on that pedestal. Oh, treating me like who are you? Now I get to choose like you and her too. I just like girls, but not whores. Like a whole gym time, I'm rich more. Bro, they don't want to fly, so I'm like a slow blow. I can work that ass like a workout plan. All right, shifter box is acquired. Shout out to my dude for that, man. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, now on my way home, uh, Mr. Ron is there, so he can pick up his wheels and I can finish up my axles and raise the car up and stuff. So let's get back home. Nani? All right, cool. Bro, how the vlog popping, bro? I should trash, dog. Trash? Yeah, I trash. But uh, I got both axles in. I decided to film because I don't want to keep giving y'all pointless content. But wheels are on, uh, cars adjusted, kind of, because like, you guys see this height. And then look at this. I'm going to have to do some more modifications. But Same these aren't the wheels I'm going to be running. <sighs> I mean, the wheels don't look that bad. Damn, I'm dog. I'm sorry, dog. I, I mean the stupid shit, dog. <laughs> it's trash, bro. It's trash. Super facts. The car is nice. Oh, for real? The car is nice. These wheels are trash. Yeah, you right. Bro. Been outside for six hours. I'm so tired. But rear wheels are on, dude. It looks. This car looks hideous. Look how bad it looks. Jesus. Oh, what happened to my... I actually don't look that bad, to be honest. Trey cars? No, thank you. Why, because I ain't got AC? Yep. Wow. wow. Hey, bro, you got to put that tie on there, right? <laughs> put it on the side that has the bad one. <laughs> 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 it's in my car, it's mine. Damn, Ron, you just got stole, bro. He just stole your new wheels, bro, your Rotomasters. These are one of ones. I'm about to steal a car. Facts. Go ahead, cause I got tracking device. Man got moving wheels. I need someone to suit. Legit moving wheels. If I stole this car, you have a long way back to borrow, dog. That's a long walk. That is a long walk. Use the bus token. The homie Ron just dipped out of here with my Rotomasters, bro. The one of one Rotomasters. They're gone, but for a good call. Now I got rid of the Rotor Masters and some cash on top, and I got this Johnny right here. Aside from the transmission, he just gave me the complete long block. But for now, I'm on these Rotor Torques, so you know what I'm saying? I'm still staying in a Rotor family until the RPF ones arrive. These ones honestly don't look that bad. Like if I were to do like a, a nice black, big tires, yellow tire letters with a nice big brake kit in the front. Too bad that ain't happening because your boy is going with some RPF Wizons. Those are my favorite wheels. Well, one of my favorite wheels aside from the Reagan Masters. Those. RPF ones are just timeless, beautiful, lightweight, they're just beautiful wheels. So let's recap what we did for this entire vlog. We got the interior pretty much back together. Got the center console stuff all in, seat in, uh, still need a passenger seat. Uh, everything else is like pretty much the interior is like ready to go. We did axles today, we raised the car up kind of this side's lower than the other one i guess because all the weights on this side so i gotta raise this one more up um but yeah axles are in i gotta raise the rear i haven't done that yet but i'll, rather, I'll just do all the raising crap when the uh wheels come in and we get the tires on and all that cool jazz bolted up one thing uh, which was just the start i still gotta do the thermostat housing and all that stuff but i'll probably do that next video when i do the shifter box install of the dc5 stock shifter box until my shifter box um, comes in from being made and stuff like that. And then from there, it's just me waiting on my fuel injectors back from Genesis Automotive, get my RBC back from Jason. I'll talk to my man Xavier over at Wireworks because I did go with the Wireworks harness because, man, they're local and I'd rather support the locals. And that should ship out tomorrow, which is Wednesday. So, yeah, just the waiting game now. It's waiting for all the stuff to come in the mail and stuff like that. And 
sadly enough, the ruggers are still broke. I don't know what's wrong with the ruggers. I just don't want to turn on. But I got a secret plan in to work for the ruggers. So it's all good. But that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have no idea what I'm even going to title this video. I just hope you guys enjoyed the video. Whatever the title and thumbnail is. Just click on it and watch it. But thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.